Hello, in that video I'll show you my new measuring tool I got from Banggood. It's digital laser or contact tachometer. As always start with unboxing. Under the plastic bag is cardboard box. But inside that box is another box. It seems like it's also made out of cardboard and wrapped into thin plastic. Closing button is a bit hard to open, so we need to be careful that we don't tear up the box when opening. Otherwise the box is ok for storage the tool. It's very light, entire box weighs less than 400 grams. And when we open them, we can see the manual and protective foam. Under we can find a tachometer, about 30 cm of self adhesive reflective tape, wheel for measuring speed and 3 different tips for contact RPM measure. Manual is short but clear with all information we need. On front of tachometer we can see the transmitter laser and receiver diode inside of lens. On other side is axis for contact measure. And there we get two buttons, one from side for measuring and one from front for displaying memory value. Then there is a selective three position switch to choose type of measure between photo RPM, contact RPM and contact speed measure. Here we got wheel for measuring speed made out of rubber and plastic. Then we got plastic holder and three different rubber tips for RPM measure. There are two sides of cone and one for flat surface or small axle measure. Let's install the battery now and try them. I got here an loop rechargeable battery, but can't install them, because rechargeable battery is just a bit bigger than alkaline battery. So I use basic AA alkaline battery. The commenter is now ready to use. Just select type of measure and press button. LCD will turn on and start showing the value. When the button is released it turns off. Firstly I make a test on my drill which got 400 rpm into first gear and 1400 rpm in second gear. For contact measure I use bigger cone which fit perfectly into chuck hole. When press the button value will immediately show on the display. They are a bit less rpm because the drill battery isn't full, but you can see how easy and quick the measuring is. Display show us 4 numbers, so 0 to 999 it show it 1 decimal number, so resolution 0 1 rpm, from 1000 and more rpm they got resolution of 1 rpm. What about photo measuring? For photo measuring we need a piece of reflective tape, fixed on surface we want to measure. Location or diameter isn't important, because laser glow and the receiver dial just count how many times read the reflective light from the tape per minute. I got same value from contact and photo measuring, maybe 1 or 2 RPM differences, but RPM on drill like that isn't 100% constant. Photo measuring work from 3 cm up to 2 meters. Here on display we got also sign when the reflect was read, so we can be sure that measure right. If you want to measure RPM on some reflective surface like that ring on chuck, there can be a problem, because light will reflect all the time, not only once per hour for the piece of reflective tape. But there is simply a solution, just use a black or any other non-reflective tape and cover the shiny surface, then on one point attach reflective tape and make a measure. Rubber for contact measure is quite soft, so you can easily measure also if the tachometer isn't in perfect line with measuring shaft. If I try photo measure into shiny chuck, it received some reflective light and just showing some numbers. Also when I attached a piece of reflective tape I got different values if I measure perpendicular to the chuck. I noticed it got more accurate result if I measure on side of chuck, so there are no other reflective light as from the tape. And sure I got same number if I measure on the chuck or on small shaft. Let's try to compare with the integrated mill RPM meter. It's got optical sensor and lot of holes around the spindle for better precision. With contact measuring I got about 60 RPM lower number than on mill, but when I make photo measure it only show for round or two difference. I don't know why, maybe vibration cause difference on contact measuring. If you want to measure low RPM like on my mini rotary table, we can do that with contact measure. But if we can't measure contact but only optical we need to wait lot of time to get reflected light once per round, so every time get different to unaccurate number. In that case we need to attach more reflective points around and then result divide with number of points we attach and get more accurate number. So far I try boot type of RPM meter, now try to measure some speed. 
for speed measure we need to attach speed measuring wheel because diameter of wheel is very important here. I know you know the difference between RPM and speed measure, but just a few words. We can contactly measure RPM only in the center of shaft, no matter how big is its diameter. When measuring speed we can measure round axle or the belt, because it's just read how fast the measuring wheel rotate. For example, if I measure the wheel diameter about 32 cm, it gets circumference 1 meter. So when it make one turn, diameter make exactly 1 meter. So in that case, 1 RPM is the same as speed 1 meter per minute. Here we can see how fast speed increases with bigger diameter. Sometimes we measure in position where you can't see on display. That's why the tool got memory. It saved three different values, low, max and last value into each mode, so 3 values into contact RPM, 3 into photo RPM and 3 into speed mode. It save only last values, when measuring again override saved values. Now let's take a look inside, it's a pretty simple device, into plastic housing we can find a single circuit board with integrated selection and memory switch. On front we can find laser and receiver diode. Here's an Admiral microcontroller and lot of resistors. Into lens is just protective glass. Probably it's here so the light from sight not disturb receiver diode. And on bottom we got contact measure axis with quite big bearing. On the end of that axis is just a plastic part with three groove. On that position on circuit we got one transmitter and one receiver diode. So I just count how many pulses it got per minute. With that kind of measure we got 6 pulses per round, that's why contact measure work faster than laser measuring, which need at least one round if you use single reflective tape. That's pretty much it about the commenter, now let's take a look at some example of use. It's really useful instrument, we can measure RPM and speed on many different places, accessible and inaccessible. Sometimes it's hard to find a perfect center, but the rubber is so soft that it kick out of the holder before we damage the tachometer. Wheel for speed measure works somewhere to 800 meter per minute, then starting oscillating and the middle rubber part extends due to centrifugal force and measure isn't correct. With speed wheel we need to be careful so we don't grind them on some measuring surface, because diameter is important here, but I think it's easy job to make new wheels with 3D printer and some TPU. When measuring some low power turning device like this small fan, we can do it only on photo way. Measuring X is turning really nice without big force, because the only friction on it is bearing, but it's still too much for that tiny fan, but optical way we can measure easily. That's it for today, I got another very useful tool, so far I borrow them on my job when you really need them, but from now I surely use more often. If you need one for yourself find the link in the video description, price is almost funny for that useful tool. Thanks for watching, like, share and subscribe if you like and see you next time.